Dobbin Bow, hello, hello, hello. I just got this GoPro 9. Fancy GoPro 9. Obviously, all you guys know when I use my videos, or those guys in the past, I should say, I used to use the, uh, I still do, I use my Note uh, 8, Samsung Note 8 or 9. I can't remember what it was, but it works great. But I got this GoPro so that I can put it on the front of my, uh, my uh, dashboard so I can use the camera as I'm. Uh, filming some things on the road it just seems a lot easier hey guys you can see me in there look at that wait let me see hey hey what's up pete hey guys eh, no that's not the gopro 9 the gopro 9's off right now okay so what i'm going to do is because i have a lot of people asking me about this they uh what do you use for filming what do you use for this and that but i don't use a lot of different things i use my samsung camera my note 9 like i said and now I bought this GoPro that I've been playing with, trying to get it squared away. And a lot of the comments that I've had in the past, are, how do you, you know, what's easy, what's not easy? Well, let me tell you, the Samsung Note 8 or 9, whatever one you're using, my Note 8, is so easy to use. I take it and I plug it into my Chromebook. I use uh, Wii Video as my editing software. I hit import. I plug the phone into the, into the, uh, the GoPro with the USB. This end obviously is the Type C gets plugged into the phone. This is the USB connector, and that gets plugged into the uh, the Chromebook. And then I download my files from my Note 8. But I've invested in this GoPro. This is GoPro 9. It's pretty cool. Comes in this cool little case right here, which is pretty cool. Very nice little case. See it? GoPro 9. Pretty nice. I love it. Got a little bunch of connections and stuff. Got a thing you can connect to your. Uh, I'm gonna use. You can connect this to your helmet, so when you're going a thousand miles an hour, you can do videos of your riding on your motorcycle or whatever. But I wouldn't suggest that. It's uh, pretty cool, but I think if you're snowboarding and surfing, whatever the heck it is, those guys use this a lot. I got the GoPro Nine because I need another video source that I can use to uh, to use. You know, to help me with my videos. So what I'm gonna do with this short video. Is I'm going to, uh, it's not a YouTube short, don't get me wrong. Oh, there I am again. Look at that. Wow. Okay, not even turned on. It's me. No, I'm just kidding. That's the reflection from the GoPro 9. Even the reflection from the GoPro 9, oh my God, is better than some videos that are out there. Okay, GoPro 9 is GoPro. Right now it's Go Journeyman. Not GoPro yet, but I'll be a GoPro soon. But, uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is because if I can do it, anybody can do it. How do I take my videos from my GoPro and I put them on my Chromebook? A lot of people ask me that because they get a lot of problems. The first thing you do is you clean your desk up nice and squared away so that you can show people. And you come here to your Chromebook, obviously. You turn your Chromebook on, get to, your, you get to where you need to go. You got the GoPro 9. You press the GoPro 9 till it beeps and it comes on. And there she is, and then you hit the down, you, you go down like this, and you see your little, uh, go, wait, back it up, Pete, back it up, god dang it. Okay, you turn it on, you swipe down from the GoPro. Took me about eight hours to figure that one out. You swipe left, and there you got connections. One of the very important things, at least on my Chromebook, is that, you see what says USB connection? You hit USB connection. It's got to be in an MTP4, ladies and gentlemen. Not GoPro Connect, MTP4. Once it's an MTP4, you're good to go. You swipe that back down again. Nope, don't do that. Hit MTP4. Make sure it's blue. See, it's blue. Then you hit the back arrow, and you go back up, and boom, you're there. Next thing you do is you get the little USB Type-C th thing that it came with it. You open up the side over here. Boom. It's a little hard. Huh? This thing's kind of a pain in the butt. You, you pull this thing down and it opens. All you GoPro experts know what it is. Don't touch the battery. There's my little SIM card. See my little SIM card in there? I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. I put it in. It's in there. It's right there. So instead of taking... That's another way you can, you can transfer your files from the GoPro to the... Uh, to your Chromebook or any laptop or whatever you want to say. Is... Uh, you go over here. There's these little devices right here. You have the, this is, see, you got the little SIM card in there, right? You pop that SIM card out and you pop it in here. And then you take uh, 
this little cable right here. You plug, let me see, you take, you pop out the SIM card, put the SIM card in one of these little slots right here. It's, it's an adapter basically for your SIM card. Put it in there, plug this end into your laptop, and then your files are going to pop up in your Chromebook. So I'm not going to work with this one right now. This will be another, another thing, but it's just, a, all it is is a SIM card adapter. It's so that you can take your SIM card from the GoPro, put it in here, plug this into your Chromebook, and then you can download the files from there. I'm going to show you the way, the easiest way to do it. So put that thing away. Pop that, boom, in a little sock right there. All right, so you take the USB connection that came with the GoPro, plug that little into the Type-C, boom. Right? You got the little Type-C connected there. You come over here, you take the USB portion of your, your, your USB, take it over here. If you can see, I'll update this a little bit right here. You take this and you plug it right in there. Boom, she's in. And what does that say? Oh, it says USB, notice. First thing it did on the Chromebook is when you connected the USB, your GoPro said USB connected MTP. Guys, remember MTP. Now this might be just for Chromebook, but that's the only way to do it because when I first connected the GoPro to the Chromebook, the first thing I had was I could not see this Hero Black option. When you unplug this, this will go away when you plug it in. And basically what it's doing is the Chromebook My Files portion, which is this little baby right here. See this little right here? That's your My Files. You click that, this will come up and it will say Hero Black 9, right? Hero 9 Black. That's because right now the Hero 9 Black Chromebook is talking to the Hero 9 Black and looking at all the videos. Then you click over here where it says, then you come over here and you hit GoPro. Boom, there's all your files right there. Remember, these all these are just extra files. The ones you want to look at is the MP4. So what I do is how I download. You can There's a couple different ways you can do this. You could click the type button up here. Right? And so that... Uh, so that you see uh, you, now all the MP4s are in one order. You can take this and you can basically drag, take this, drag it over to see what it says downloads. And you go boom. And now it's going to take that file and download it to your downloads. And you notice over here it says copying file. Boom, 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 boom to downloads. About one minute remaining. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I'm just going to show you that. Another way to do it is what, what I do is when I'm in Wii Video... I go up here to Wii Video, boom, I'm going to put this on the side right now because uh, I don't want you to see my personal information and all the money that I have in my bank, no, I'm just kidding, okay, boom, Star Rebel, I chose my account, there's my Wii Video, see my Wii Video, this is Wii Video, it's my projects, so one thing you can do is you go, obviously you got to create a video, and then once that video pops up, there you go, it's ready to go. I hit my import button, and then you go here to browse, and then what am I doing? I'm going here to the Hero 9, I'm going here to the DCIM, it'll go up here to the GoPro, and there you go, guys. You just basically click any one of them you want to do, and you hit open, or you can select all of them, and then you'll see... Uh, there's the file right here. This file's getting downloaded. It's the GoPro file. And that's pretty much the easy way to do it, ladies and germs. I mean, I would suggest any other way. I wouldn't, I mean, there's no reason to because you have the USB connection, which is this one right here. You can get the USB adapter, which I talked to you that you can take the SIM card out of the Hero 9 here and put it in your SIM card adapter and just plug it right in there. And that's a way to download files too. There are, I mean, there's a couple other ways that you guys with PC might want to go ahead and check. But this is basically the Hero 9 download file download to a Chromebook. That's that's what I'm showing you guys right now. It's the Hero 9 to a Chromebook. And see, as you can see right here, this is all being downloaded. So, and it's coming from the phone, from the GoPro 9 to the Hero phone. So let's, uh, that's how, basically how you do it. I'll uh, wait for that download just so I can show you guys exactly, luckily. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Hey, 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 partners, no barking.
Charlie, you want to go into the uh, dog jail? No barking. Sorry about that, guys. Those are my assistants right there. Marmalade, Charlie, Marmalade, Charlie, and Santiago, the dad. That's the dad, that's the mommy, and that's their baby, believe it or not. Yes, that little guy's a stud. Him and mama got together, and that's how they got Charlie. Charlie's a little brat. Charlie, cha-cha, are you a little brat? Charlie, are you a little brat? Are you a little brat? Mama laid. Mama laid. Hey, Mama laid. Say hi to everybody. Okay, well, we're back here. Look, there you go. Now I click that file right there. Small not the there it goes. Tires. See? Like, Taking files from the tires, GoPro 9 the to the Chromebook to your sand. video editing software, or you can just put it onto your, your hard drive on your Chromebook, and that's the way you do it. I mean, guys, seriously. Is this not the most professional video that you've ever seen for downloading files from the GoPro 9 to an Acer Chromebook? I mean, comment, subscribe, like. Please help these three dogs so that they have food by clicking, subscribing, and liking and making sure that you know how to download files from a GoPro 9 to a Chromebook. Now, if I can do it, starboard bow in this little ship, you can do it anywhere you're at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And we'll talk to you guys later. Ships ahoy, baby.